you know me in person and you want to buy me a book in the future, they are all welcome. I will find space for them on my shelf. Do not worry about that. Hey guys, HB here and Happy New Year's. I can't believe it's already 2022. Time went by so fast. It's only been a couple of months, I think like three months or so since I completely changed my YouTube account into a booktube account and I am loving it so far. Excitingly enough, this is going to be my first full year of becoming a booktuber. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Sarah and I mainly do spoiler free as well as spoiler book reviews, something I call hot books, which basically I do book reviews with a hot beverage. But because it is a new year, I do want to create some more content for you guys obviously book related just like this i'm very excited and there's a lot i want to do but i want to keep realistic goals i love planning i love organizing my thoughts and ideas so i thought why not create a video for you guys where i talk about my reading goals for 2022 we are starting off very very small so i only technically have like two to three goals that i want to try keeping but obviously throughout the years i'll pick up some things that i want to try for the next year and yes we are already planning for 2023 my first reading goal is going to be how many books i want to read for 2022 it's a quick fun fact I actually only started reading books in the beginning of 2020, like January, February-ish, so I haven't been reading for that long. That year in itself, I read probably around like 60 books. Well, technically I read like 40-something books, but I did review the series twice, and in that series it's like 20 books, but you get what I mean. And then in 2021, believe it or not, I read like less than 20 books. As much as I love reading, I realized I'm a really slow reader, so I can't read multiple books a day. A book with 300 to 400 pages will legit take majority of my day, and when I realized this about myself, I got scared scared to start new books because it just felt like my whole day is gone and I had to finish it in that one sitting. This might sound like a very very small number to some of you guys but I do want to be realistic so I'm just going to give myself a reading goal of trying to read 25 new books this year. I don't know if people can reread into this number but if that's the case then it'll probably be around like 50 books in total but new books I want to try reading 25 new ones this year. To be very honest the most I've read in a month is like three books but I usually end up reading like one or two a month to sometimes not even any at all so 25 is like a realistic number for me i'm gonna try reading at least two books per month and we'll see how that goes my second reading goal is gonna be i need to stop buying physical books because first off i am running out of space on my shelf at this point i am stacking books on top of each other <laughs> i might get myself an e-reader but i'm not quite sure yet i technically don't need any more books to read <laughs> the ratio between how many books i did read compared to how many books i need to read is ridiculous i think what happened this year was because i just started reading like like I started in 2020 so by 2021 there were so many books I wanted to read especially things that came out like when I was in middle school people were talking about them how good they were how much they loved it when they were younger so I think I wanted to try reading those books as well as like the new ones that came out so I think what happened was I ended up spending more money and buying books at a faster pace than I was reading them to be very honest I probably only read like 30% of what I own and with my reading pace I have books to last me years without buying new ones and I really need to start budgeting this year so I have decided that if I really, really want a book, I can only purchase a book one per month. And I know what you're thinking. Sarah, that's impossible to do. You're gonna wanna buy so many books, you won't be able to last a month. But I'm really gonna try. Now, ebooks is a different story. They're a lot more affordable and they don't waste any space. So, will I invest in an e reader? Probably will. But I'm really gonna try not to buy like physical books. And hopefully, I don't binge on ebooks as well. But this does not apply to book gifts. So, if you know me in person, and you want to buy me a book in the future, they are all welcome. I will find space for them on my shelf. Do not worry about that. My next reading goal is I want to try planning out my videos a little better and not even just YouTube, but like all of my social media. So my TikTok as well as my Instagram. Before I film, I usually like to write out what I'm going to say, especially when it comes to like my spoiler free videos. I like to write out every single category that I want to talk about and my ratings for each one. And also like my reasons why I picked that rating. It just helps with the flow of recording and everything just comes out a lot more smooth. Smoother, but I will admit it is pretty time consuming and I'm also not a big fan of doing it on the day of. I just feel like my thoughts aren't really sorted out and it kind of feels rushed. Now that it's new year, I kind of want to schedule everything that I'm going to post in that month and create all of the content in advance like in the beginning of the month. That's going to mostly apply to my Instagram and my TikTok so that way I don't have to worry about the content that I'm releasing because I planned everything out in advance and all I got to do is just post it on the day I choose. And then for my YouTube videos, I'm going to try writing out everything that I wanted to do within that month so that 
that way when the week comes, all I gotta do is record, edit, and post. This will definitely help me be more organized and I won't be so stressed about them because everything will be created already and all I gotta do is just release it. Lastly, this is not really a reading goal, but it is something I wanna mention. For the first time in December, I did my first TBR list video, but I don't think I'm gonna do it again. Personally, it just kinda seems pointless. Like I mentioned before, there are so many times I read one to zero books in a month that having a TBR list gave me more pressure to read even though I wasn't really in the mood to read. If you have watched that video, I mentioned that I'm a huge, huge mood reader. And in that video, I actually organized my books into genres because again, I'm a big mood reader. But I realized even though I put them into categories like that, I still felt very restrained. And there was a high chance that if I picked out a book from that category because of my TBR list, I am not gonna enjoy it. And I'm already a slow reader. So it would only take me that much longer to finish the book because I'm just not in the mood for it. For example, let's say I'm in the romance phase, right? And I consult my TBR list. Let's say I put three books into that category for that month. If I picked one of those books, there's a high chance I'm not feeling any of them and I will be miserable reading it. So what's the point of having a TBR list? You get what I mean? Don't get me wrong. TBR lists are great. They help you stay accountable and it works out for a lot of people. And I wish it did for me, but I don't think it does. So I don't think I'm going to be doing TBR lists on a regular basis at all. I will do them for like collabs. Right, December TBR one. That was actually a collab with Nunchi and I would love to do that again. It was great. By the way, I did not forget about those books. I will be doing a review on those very, very soon. I was just not really in the mood to read. See what I mean? Like, my moods are just so extreme that it's like hard to keep a TBR. Anyways, for collabs and stuff, I would love to do them again, but I don't think I'll be doing them on a monthly basis at all. Just not for me. So that was it for my reading goals of 2022. I'm very, very excited for the new year. I know I don't really have a lot of reading goals, but we're gonna start off very small. And then throughout the year, I hope I can find more things that I want to try for the new year. And if you guys have any reading goals, please let me know down below so we can share them and I can keep you accountable and you can keep me accountable. And yeah, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. I make sure to sign of them and I'll see you guys next time with HB. Bye! Bring it to the